So in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make a saloon or hair saloon shop management system within CH. The compiler which we are using is the Microsoft Visual Studio. So how we can do that? First of all, we need to go to File, click on New and click on Project. Here we will see hash, Windows and then Windows Forms application. Here we will write here Saloon Management System. Okay, this is the name of the project. Okay, now this is our main working visual window. So first we will go to go to view and we will go we will search for toolbox okay this is our toolbox click on it and go to label okay because on the top of the software or any uh, win form there must be one title so we will write uh, text is here saloon management system okay now we will go and we will change its font here we will go and we will write here courier okay courier new okay now this is and we can also make it a little bit bold as well so that okay now we will go for its color for color we will go to web we will take our uh, blue color or medium sea green okay so this is our title again we will go to toolbox we will take three push buttons one right click on it go to copy and again paste it out this again go and paste the third button okay apart from these three buttons there must be three text boxes okay go to toolbox go and take text boxes so this is our first text box right click on it go to copy and click here that is paste and like this go and paste and this thing. this is our first second and third okay Okay, now we will take one more text box here. We will make it multi-line. Okay, now we can make it a little bit big. Again, right click and paste one more text box. Again, here go to multi-line. And again, go to multi-line, okay. like this okay again go and take one more text box and click on multi line so this is our final one okay okay so like this okay we can make it make it a little bit big okay now we will go again to toolbox we will go and take our labels okay label one again we will copy this label and write here paste it here out and this is our label two label three label four and label five this is our label five now here we will write the name of first level is name of client or client's name name of client because whenever a whenever a client used to visit you should have to store its name so name of client so we will go and we will change its uh, like uh, this 10 okay okay go to here and write courier new and bold and okay name of client 
again we will go and we will set its properties to this and courier new and bold okay and press okay level 3 we will go and we will change its text to service offer service offered okay well let me change this thing level 5 must be there level 4 must be there service offered our, our service offered must be there okay level 4 must be there and this okay Ad adjust it out in cost or like uh, we can say rupees or dollars we, we can say dollars okay in dollars how much revenue generated uh, dollars or like uh, uh, what we can say yes it's okay dollars we can write here service offered a dollar and again we will go to its font uh, we will go we will select 10 bold and courier new okay courier new you can write any other name of your own choice okay uh, sorry you can change your sizes and uh, choose the font okay it's not compulsory to use just use this font again go to 10 go to bold go to courier new click ok and this and date and time okay we will go to text properties we will write here date time of service okay so this is our these are our four tables we can say logs okay these are our four logs okay so this is our first button this is second this is third okay so we will write it like this okay like here so we we can write here please enter the name of the enter the name of the client okay so we will copy it copy and paste it out so here we will write please enter name of the client please enter name of the client okay so this is for name of the client now okay total charges okay control c and control v paste uh, paste it out again copy and paste it and here we need to write please enter total charges paid total charges paid okay okay then this total charges paid and third one is what sort of service we have offered okay right click and paste it service please enter the service offered okay please enter enter the service offered service offered now these three things are there okay now what we need to do is to uh, right uh, click on this button one we will change its text to enter enter logged because we want to log our data logged and total revenue okay total revenue okay so this is our so these three are our button okay we need to go to 
we need to change uh, their colors uh, their four color as well we will go to web okay we will write light sea green oh sorry it's four color yes it is four color so we will go for big color okay big color can be anything active caption text this thing and we will go for big color is active caption text and four color is is this uh, c uh, blue color okay that is light c green sorry light c green okay now we will write okay where well, let me see what sort of properties it has so we will go this is light sea green and big color must be big color four color and big color must be black okay so this is these are our three buttons okay so we can adjust their sizes total revenue okay now these are our three buttons okay now what we need to do is to we we have already written the code okay now this our code we have declared i will give this uh, file uh, the link uh, of downloading in order to download this file is given in the description so now we will copy these what's called as these string type variables okay let me explain you all the things okay we will go and we will okay where well, let me see what is okay partial form one okay double click on anywhere and it will lead us to the coding window public partial class form one okay here we will declare certain string type uh, arrays okay string type arrays means that it can store data on specific indexes like on index one index two index three index four okay and this array four uh, uh, or again, again i'm explaining it to you that air 4 is actually the name of the variable you can write any other name of your own choice here and it's uh, it can store a data uh, which is which only consists of like string type members like a b c d or anything like that okay so and it has certain length okay which is actually 12 if if you want to find the data on index 1 then we can write one like this okay so it is just like that we also declared array 4 array array 1 array 3 these are random names okay and we also declared one integer type variable here insert is equal to zero some again some integer type variables here we also need these are global variables okay because they are declared in the public partial class form one so they are considered as the global variables and what sort of data these are the names of the variables you can change these these things okay you can write any other name of your own choice but their type must be integer okay and we, we have stored zero in all these variables okay I, I will explain you how i use them inside the code okay now one more two more variables and they are and they are like uh, you can see they are int rev and new int of five string string variable okay int rev is equal to new int of five now it is an integer type array it is a variable and its name is rev and what sort of data it can store integer type and why we have written these two brackets because we want to store all the data in an array form whose maximum length is five 
and then there is string string where is a variable okay so now private void button to click okay private void button to click and now what we need to do is to copy these two lines and i will write it in button two okay button one or button two click okay so i will go and i will write uh, in logged now what 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 is when we when somebody used to press this button two with it is push button two that this one then all these statements within these two brackets will get executed an array of n is equal to text box one dot text means that whatsoever data is being given or written in the text box one then it will be given to array okay and initially the array n is n is n is zero and value of n is zero so it will be stored on position zero okay and then text box four dot lines is equal to array text box four is our this one this uh, text box which is which actually uh, okay which actually has the role of logbook here okay so it will it will store and on every click of the button n is equal to n plus one means that n will increase for one time so array zero becomes array one array two array three every time okay and all the and all the error that is a double r okay and all the data in a double r array must be given to text box four dot lines okay so now it is right okay now i'm i'm just writing one name that is please enter the name of client okay i, I will write uh, john abraham or john abraham okay abraham so when we will click on log we, we will see that we got our name of the client here okay so this is again okay now okay wait let me uh, again do it okay john interlog again we will write gabriel gabriel or gabriel then then we need to click on log then we got on uh, then 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 we, we we can see that it is stored on our log book okay log section we can say it is log section okay so now we need to write uh, our code for like uh, this text box one dot text okay now we will go and we will write the code for array one and we will write here dollars okay so whatsoever will be given data or written data inside this text box two and what is this text box to this thing what is written inside this it will be added with a word with a letter that is dollars and then will be stored in this array one and uh, it is its index is being indicated by this variable n one and when it's uh, value zero then first thing or first data must be stored on this on this index that is index zero then all the things will be stored on this array one okay and text box five actually it is the this this text box it it behaves like the log okay log of uh, like uh, income generated or anything let me see you this is the abraham abraham we click on log here it is 20 us dollars and we will click okay dollars 20 oh, okay 20 dollars okay where it let me see okay okay we, we we need to write it like this that first we will write john and here 30 30 dollars we will click on log and we got john has paid 30 dollars okay now we will go for our service offer third thing okay we also need to write like this and 4 plus 1 and 32 dot plus xbox 2 dot x and like this why we have done this i will explain it to you that we want to convert this to uh, 32 okay we will 
take the data of text box two dot text and then we will convert into integer type right so because we want to we want to sum all the income okay generated okay so that is why we have written this thing okay now for services okay this chunk of code okay both for time and for services okay so we will go and we will write here so area 3 is equal to search to text box 3 dot x that what sort of services it is going to we are going to offer and again for this this increment is actually incrementing this index for array 3 variable okay and uh, service will be shown in this text box 6 okay and then time is date time dot now to string actually what is this date time dot now is a function which will give us the uh, date and time on uh, on the specific in instance or running instance okay that when we will click the running time will be get uh, at age two over log okay so it is area four time underscore zero okay time underscore zero is just a variable which is incremented every time okay so we will write here like this okay so here i will write john 30 here click on log and here we got here cut is service okay then i will write gabriel gabriel okay sorry gabriel 40 and facial okay or anything like that so so we will click on log okay so it's facial okay so like this and okay so and okay now now one more thing that uh, we can okay so service offered and all this okay okay let, let me write again john and total charge is 30 please enter the service office haircut when we click logged okay right let me see let me see why it is like that date time of service is not being displayed here let me check it out so it is text box seven okay well let me see again yes yes uh, the last line we we got missed this line okay so now it will work properly okay like this so it is again john jwh and john and total charges 40 and haircut haircut okay and uh, logbook okay like this okay so we got our date time and all these things okay so this thing and one more thing that uh, we want to total our total our thing okay total our thing so okay so we will write we will click on double click on this total revenue button and it will lead us to the call back of this particular and it will it will it will it will plus all the all the things okay rev1 rev2 rev3 and all this okay uh, let us suppose that we just want to write like a, a total revenue okay so we will go to toolbox we will click on text box we will go to text box we will change it Font, okay courier courier new bold and 14 okay and like this okay total revenue here so it is text box set okay so here i will write text box a dot text is equal to is equal to total 
dot to string okay why, why we are going to do it because we want to convert this thing to string data type okay and then we can write okay now at least there must be three values okay so here we write john and uh, total charges 30 please enter service office haircut log okay and here we will write uh, kaya okay then 44 dollars haircut logged like this then we will write sara and uh, 46 36 dollars facial okay and click on logged okay now we will click on total revenue and it shows 110 so this is a very simple like school project it can help you in your school project of hair saloon management system so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe